I don't know about you. For me, one thing that bugs me about a lot of products that you get, and now I'm included because I'm making a product, is that you can never get these labels off easily. I have to have these things on to let people know that there is a patent on it so they just can't go out and make what I'm making. Try to make this as, as easy as I can. What I do is I just get my finger under it and, and pull up on it real hard, and a lot of it comes off, but I can still feel the residue. Some of the places have a little bit of paper that still hanging on. Plus with mine I've got two pieces taped together. So here I'm going to take them apart and then I'll show you how you can get this residue off. Yeah, I try to use my products the same way as, uh, as you're going to be using them. So if I can do this then, then I'm sure you'll be able to do it when you uh, get it and start taking it apart. So this, this tape is left. It's hard to see. If you're just going to use it for, for utility maybe some of this won't matter. But it bugs me. I use, they call it lighter fluid but it's uh, actually naphtha and naphtha is a mild solvent and it's ideal for taking off the label. You can get anybody's brand, you know, like they sell this as cigarette light or fluid. Any brand will work. And then what I use is just a little piece of paper and I just don't smoke around it and keep it in a safe place so the kids don't have access to it. Yeah, so all I do is, is take that, use my fingernail, it's, it's gone. And then I come down and find any spots that had the um, tape on it and it takes that off as well. Use your fingernails and you'll find it and it comes off and, it, and it's perfectly clean now and I just have to go down and find the rest of them. It wasn't my first choice but it's one that worked in terms of how do I put a couple of these pieces of molding together so that they don't get damaged. People don't have them already bent before you get them out of the store and I thought well having two or more together is the ideal way to do that but in order to put two of them together I had to use tape so that's how it's done. If you're using this for something that uh, you're going to paint or, or use as decoration you definitely don't want any of that because it'll it'll um, mess up your design and I don't want that so there we are all done